www.kudo.de. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Virtual Reality. Um, I think you already heard about this guy here. <laughs> this is another Pimax that is announced. This is the Pimax RE. <laughs> so, so RE stands for, I've never heard this word before, ruggedization. So I'm from Germany and I have no idea what this, I had no idea what this word means. So <laughs> I had to, to Google this and it means that um, the headset is protected against water. It's, um, it doesn't break so fast because the material is thicker and stuff. The cable is thicker and more stabilized and stuff. Um, so this one is, seems to be for arcades. Yeah, if we choose to, choose to, uh, to play with uh, four or more players, we can switch, switch, switch to the next person and, and this is more robust, um, the headset. So, yeah, it doesn't break as fast as <laughs> our Pimaxes at home. So my 8K already has a big crack inside. So um, perhaps this will not happen with the RE editions. I at least hope so. So now you will perhaps think, hmm, now this is the Pimax that I want to have, but this Pimax will cost like $500 more. So <laughs> this, I, I don't think uh, that most of, of you will, will uh, accept this. This is very uh, much and this is meant for arcades. So all of the three headsets, the 8K, the 5K Plus and the 5K OLED will be available as RE edition. So, 8K RE, 5K Plus RE and 5K OLED RE. <laughs> so another confusion about all the names that Pimax invented. <laughs> However, it's of course your decision if you uh, want to spend 500 bucks more only that the headset does not break <laughs> or is uh, more thicker and stuff. It, I think it will even be heavier. So to be honest, of course. Also, the face inlay is uh, different a little bit, but all the other specs, the resolution and field of view and lenses and stuff will not change in the RE editions. There's no higher resolution or other displays and stuff. You have to remember this. So this was the first announcement. This one, you can buy it. Um, I, I don't know when you can buy it, but later um, this year. And the next one is that Brain Warp is officially announced now, so Brain Warp consists of three different uh, um, things. Uh, the first one is Smart Smoothing. So this is when you perhaps set the uh, um, Hertz on 80 um, and for, from the Pimax 8K and then your frame rate goes lower than 80, so perhaps 60. Then um, Smart Smoothing goes down to 40 frames and then fakes every second frame to get to 80, to a smooth experience again. I tried this already for you and this works pretty good. The next thing is fixed foveated rendering. So only the part where we look uh, in front, a, a small part where, where we have our eyes focused, um, that will be um, rendered in full resolution and all the other things that we don't look at will be rendered in a lower resolution, so there will be an advantage of 15 to 30 percent perform sorry, performance. And uh, yeah, this, this is a good thing. It didn't work in the beta. I tried it, but they say no, it will work. I have to try that again when I'm back at home. So that's it. And the next thing that I already showed is the refresh rate switching. So yeah, um, for, the, for the Pimax 8K, I think it's 80 hertz. Um, what was the second one? I think 70 hertz and 64 hertz. Is that right? I think so. Uh, however, three different hertz, and they are also work with the smart smoothing. So if you change to 64 hertz, you only need 32 frames per second to get 64 frames per second. This is really really cool. So I showed that you could play with the Pimax on a GTX 1050 Ti. It is possible, guys. So, yeah, 
Um, this is what Pimax announced now. So, oh no, it was 80, 72 and 64 Hertz on the, on the 8K and 90, 72 and 64 on the 5K plus. That's it. So, yeah. Um, the, the Pimax company will be available at the GTC and this is the GPU conference about, yeah, about GPUs. Do not um, uh, think about this. It's not the same than GDC, Game Developer Conference. These are two different locations and uh, Pimax will be at the GTC. <laughs> so uh, I, they told us they would be visiting the GDC perhaps, but they they uh, don't don't know. I will. I don't think we can try this one. I, I don't think so, or or even see this one. But uh, if it's possible, I will uh, I will um, tell you. And we will uh, we will be able to buy this one later this year. I think I don't know when exactly, but uh, yeah, that's nice. But it's in in my opinion, it's of course too expensive for home users like me. Uh, I won't pay uh, five hundred bucks extra only that it doesn't break. <laughs> I I would expect that even the normal Pimaxes would be uh, better material and and not breaking after uh, two weeks or something like that. So. Okay, this is my opinion. However, I hope you liked the video. If yes, give me a thumbs up and I will be off to GDC now to the United States and then, then I will report about cool things I will find there. So stay tuned on my channel and subscribe. See you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo.